clock of the long now is also known as the 10,000 year clock. It's a mechanical clock that's been designed for timekeeping for 10,000 years. It's under construction and it's being built by Longnew Foundation. The project was first conceived by Danny Hillis. He started working on the idea in 1986. A prototype of the clock was completed in 1999 and is kept at the Science Museum in London. It started working on December 31st, 1999, right at New Year's Eve. This prototype is two meters high. A couple of more similar prototypes have been put on display at the Longnail Museum and store located in San Francisco. The full-scale project is still under construction in Texas in the United States. Amazon's Jeff Bezos is funding the construction of the first fully-scale prototype. The estimated cost of the prototype is around $42 million and is being built on the land developed by Jeff Bezos himself. The idea behind the clock is that instead of having a second hand, minute hand and an hour hand, it will have a year hand that will tick once at the end of every year and it will also have a century hand that will tick at the end of each century. In addition, a cuckoo will come at the end of each millennium, which will mark the end of the millennium. The website about the clock of the long now gives detailed information about this iconic project that is aimed to serve humanity for the next 10,000 years. Jeff Bezos said the following on the clock's official website. We are building a 10,000 year clock. It's a special clock, designed to be a symbol, an icon for long-term thinking. It's of monumental scale inside of a mountain in West Texas. The father of the clock is Danny Hillis. He's been thinking about and working on the clock since 1989. He wanted to build a clock that ticked once a year where the century hand advances once every 100 years and the cuckoo comes out on the millennium. The vision was and still is to build a clock that will keep time for the next 10,000 years. I've been helping Danny with the project for the last half a dozen years. As I see it, humans are now technologically advanced enough that we can create not only extraordinary wonders, but also civilization scale problems we are likely to need more long-term thinking. Visiting the clock will take a commitment. The nearest airport is several hours away by car, and the foot trail to the clock is rugged, rising almost 2,000 feet above the valley floor. Building a clock inside a remote mountain is a big task. Construction is underway, and we're making progress every day. After many years of hard work and creative thinking, the final design and engineering of the clock is nearly complete, and fabrication of the four clock parts have begun. End quote. Construction on the clock started back in 2018, and as of right now it's not known when the creation will be finished. The location of the clock is on land owned by Jeff Bezos, so even when it's finished, it's unknown whether anyone will be able to reach it. Those that have been following the clock's creation have said that although the journey itself is hours away from anything, don't be disappointed if no one ends up visiting the creation. Although the website seems to hint that people will be able to visit the project. The website continues with the following. Designed by Danny Hillis, the clock is designed to run for 10 millennia with minimum maintenance and interruption. The clock is powered by mechanical energy harvested from sunlight, as well as the people that visit it. The primary materials used in the clock are marine grade stainless steel, titanium and dry running ceramic ball bearings. The entire mechanism will be installed in an underground facility in West Texas. The full scale 10,000 year clock is now under construction. While there's no completion date scheduled, we do plan to open it to the public once it's ready. This is one of several projects by Long Now to foster long-term thinking in the context of the next 10,000 years. Danny Hillis continued with the following. 
I cannot imagine the future, but I care about it. I know I am part of the story that starts long before I can remember, and continues long beyond when anyone will remember me. I sense that I am alive at a time of important change, and I feel a responsibility to make sure that the change comes out well. I plant my acorns knowing that I will never live to harvest the oaks. I have hope for the future. The project has divided some people. Danny Hillis is a smart man. He's an established inventor and scientist. But recent questions that he's answered has left some people questioning whether this project is of importance. He co-founded a biotech startup company that looks into and studies cancer research. Wired interviewed him and asked how he can justify working on the clock instead of focusing on cancer research. Hillis responded with the following. I think this is the most important thing I can work on, more than cancer. Over the long run I think this will make more difference to more people. This of course got people talking, with one online user saying the following. What does this clock do for our world? It's a giant clock that will keep time for the next 10,000 years. I don't really get the point of it. It's Jeff Bezos' money and he can spend it how he wants. But part of me thinks that that $45 million could have gone on something better. While another user agreed with Hillis, saying this, The clock of the long now is a project of the future. And I think the point of it is more philosophical in the sense that we have such a short time span on Earth. None of us are going to be around for long, and all of our problems will be outlived by this clock. To me, it makes me think that we should all slow down and appreciate the smaller things in life. The clock is there to remind us that nothing lasts forever, and we all have our short time span on planet Earth. So what do you make of the clock of the long now? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.